Istanbul Archaeological Museum, which is one of the most important museums in the world. Istanbul Archaeological Museums are located on the slope of Osman Hamdi Bey, which goes from the Gülhane Park to the Topkapı Palace in the Sultanahmet district of Istanbul. The name is used as a plural because it has three separate museums under its administration, namely the Archaeological Museum, the Museum of Ancient Oriental Artifacts and the Tiled Köşk Museum. Mecmuayi asar Atika collection, which was established in Haya Irina in 1848, was converted into a museum in 1869 and formed the basis of the Istanbul Archaeological Museums. Between 1887 to 1888, the Sidon King Necropolis excavation, which was accepted as the greatest discovery of the period, was carried out by Osman Hamdi Bey, who is an archaeologist, painter and a museologist. A new museum building was needed in order to display important works such as Alexander sarcophagus, Likya sarcophagus and Tabnit sarcophagus, which were brought to Istanbul from this excavation. In the first stage, a part of the building extending in the northwest-southwest direction was made. A second floor was added with a decision made during the construction of the building, which started as a single-story building. Upon the request of Osman Hamdi Bey, the Istanbul Archaeological Museum, built by the famous architect of the period Alexander Valery, and founded as the Müzeyi Hümayun, which means the Imperial Museum, was opened to visitors on the 13th of June, 1891. And this day is still celebrated as a museum day in our country. Because the existing museum structure wasn't sufficient, an addition was made to the structure. Therefore, the present northwest wing of the structure was built. The building, which started on September 1st, 1898, was opened on November 7th, 1903. The painter and architect Filippo Bello also participated in the construction of this part, designed by Valery. In the third phase, the other wing and the part connected to the first building at a right angle were constructed. The building, which was laid on September 1st, 1904, was completed in April 1907. The structure designed by Valery was built by architect Atembey. At the end of the stages, a structure covering an area of 9000 square meter with a length of 192 meter has emerged. In addition to being the first museum in Turkey, Istanbul Archaeological Museums have great importance and privilege as they are among the first 8 to 10 museum buildings planned and built as museums in the world. The architect of the museum, Alexander Valery, was born in Istanbul on the 2nd of April 1850 as a child of a Levantine family. Alexander Valery completed his architectural education at the best school of the time, Ecole de Beaux Arts. After he completed his education, he returned to Istanbul. Valery, who practiced architecture between 1883 and 1908, was one of the influential architects of this period. During the early years of his professional life, the architect mostly built structures in Galata and Pera. He is also the founder and the first architect of the architecture department of Sanayi Nefsemektebi, which is the Academy of Fine Arts. The architectural education he received had an undeniable role in shaping Valery's architectural understanding. 
As a result of the discipline he received in Bozar, a classicist approach with the antique elements prevailed. Serple de Orient in Pera, Pera Palace, Dikici's House, Ottoman Bank in Galata, Bank de Change, Archaeological Museum in Sultan Ahmed, and the Sanayi Nefse Mektebi are among the main structures representing the architect's classicist approach. The building with the entrance of which was built in Tetrastilos Prostilos style with a triangle pediment and four columns stands out as one of the rare buildings constructed as a museum in that time period in the world. It is one of the most beautiful and splendid examples of neoclassical architecture in Istanbul. It reads Asari Atika Museum which means Museum of Ancient Works in Ottoman language on the pediment. And the writing on the Tura belongs to the Sultan Abdul Hamid II. In the interior of the museum, the classical architectural language, which can be found on its facades, continues. There are 36 exhibition halls in total, 20 on the lower and 16 on the upper floor of the Istanbul Archaeological Museum. Since the facade of the building was inspired by the tomb of crying woman, the museum was also known as the Sarcophagus Museum in its early days. In this arrangement, where both entrances are emphasized and mobility is provided on the long facade, there are columns with acanthus-leaved heads rising on attic pedestals. Columns going along two floors carry a low architrave, frieze, and a triangular pediment above it. The building was treated as a low-capped basement and a high ground floor, with the porticoed portion added one more floor to stand out on the facade, gaining a more monumental expression. The high plasters dividing the structure are repeated behind the columns at the entrance. Among them, there are three large doors and the windows of the second floor are lined up. On the side wing, there are statues placed between the plasters and in front of the facade. Six units are located in the northeast wing of the museum. In this part, the entry level was used by using the slope and thus a floor was placed here. With the help of the eaves elements that surround the structure, the facade layout is completed by connecting the main mass and the wings together. At that time, classicism was central to the concept of nationalism in the 19th century, and these monumental structures represent in a significantly chosen spot in the urban context. Gibelhausen describes this as the idealized power of civilization and the paternalistic concerns of the nation-state. Architecture has always been a powerful symbol as well as an effective instrument of reform and change in the modern world. For this reason, Istanbul Archaeological Museum has always been and will continue to be a treasure for this land. <laughs>